to get Loop 20 across I-35, we had to go under a railroad that was just east of the interchange. Unfortunately, the grades coming down into that uh, interchange were pretty steep, 4%. And so now we had a situation where we have a railroad blocking their traffic signals, and it was creating a situation where the truck drivers, mostly we had a lot of uh, high percentage of trucks, were uh, slamming on their brakes, and we could see a, a large proportion of skid marks out there. So we thought it was uh, something we wanted to be preemptive about and proactive about, so we wouldn't have a lot of uh, rear and top accidents. But we, we do have an uh, inordinate amount of trucks uh, coming down this uh, pretty severe slope, 4.5%. Uh, the reason is that Loop 20 leads into an area that has a large number of boarding warehouses and such. So it's a situation that's not going to change the character of the traffic. If anything, we anticipate that it's going to grow even more. With the advanced uh, warning elements of the project, we're hoping that people coming down the hill and the horizontal curve also will be driving a little bit safer. They'll have a little bit more anticipation of what's coming up. They're, they may not know exactly what's coming up, but it's a situation that requires them to be a little bit more careful, take a little bit more time coming down, um, and plan for it accordingly. I tell them to be prepared to stop. We're hoping that they will anticipate there's a traffic signal ahead or a situation that requires them to be just a little bit uh, more careful and then take a little bit more time coming down that hill. Since the installation of the advance warning sign, speeds approaching the grade have decreased by 5.3 miles per hour.